folks, good morning, and welcome back to the channel, or if it's your first time here, welcome to the channel. Um, this week, since we are sort of tied down in one place for a while because of work, we're, this is gonna be less about adventure and more about information. And that information is going to be probably one of the most controversial subjects in the RV space, and that is towing with a half-ton pickup truck. We tow with a half-ton Dodge Ram 1500. We tow a 30-foot trailer with it. And I'm gonna tell you why I think for us, and probably for you, it's not a really good idea to tow with a half-ton. And I'm also gonna give you one weight-related number that I think is the most important number out there. Spoiler alert, it's not towing capacity. And if you stick around to the end, I'm gonna give you absolutely the most important reason why towing a large trailer with a half ton pickup truck is not a good idea. And it doesn't have anything to do with numbers or anything to do with math. All right, so before we get going, let's do a little definition of the acronym SOUP uh, that gets thrown around when it comes to numbers. I know you guys have seen this, GVWR, GCVWR, UVW, hitch weights, pin weights, all that stuff. Let's do a real quick definition of what all that is, and to do that, we're gonna go to some graphics. Okay, first let's talk about curb weight. This is the weight of your tow vehicle with nothing in it. No people, no pets, no fuel, nothing. Next is UVW or unloaded vehicle weight. It's the same as curb weight, but it's for your trailer. This is the weight of your trailer without any cargo in it or liquids in the tank. Next is GVWR or gross vehicle weight rating. This is the maximum weight that your vehicle can carry. Now you're gonna have two of these. One is for your trailer and one is for your tow vehicle. And it includes the weight of the vehicle and all of the cargo or equipment in it. For the tow vehicle, that includes passengers, pets, cargo in the back, fuel, and the hitch or pin weight. For the trailer, it's the weight of the trailer, all of the cargo, and any liquid you may have in the tank. In our case, the gross vehicle weight rating for our trailer is 7,495 pounds. The gross vehicle weight rating for our tow vehicle, our Dodge Ram, is 6,900 pounds. Next, let's talk about GCVWR, or gross combined vehicle weight rating. This is the combined weight of your tow vehicle and your trailer. For us, the gross combined vehicle weight rating of our Ram 1500 is 13,900 pounds. Next, let's touch on hitch weight. It's also known as pin weight if you're pulling a fifth wheel. This is the amount of downforce that's being applied to the tow vehicle, either through the ball hitch on a travel trailer or through the fifth wheel uh, on or the kingpin on a fifth wheel. The thing to keep in mind with hitch weights is when you go to the manufacturer's website and they show you a hitch weight for your trailer, that hitch weight was measured on an unloaded trailer. And a lot of times they didn't have propane tanks, they didn't have batteries, so it's as light as that trailer is going to be. The takeaway here is that your hitch weight is going to be more than what that manufacturer's website says that trailer's hitch weight is. And it's probably gonna be a lot more. Lastly, let's talk about towing capacity. Towing capacity is the amount of weight that your tow vehicle can pull. And a lot of people get fixated on this towing capacity number. I mean, after all, you're towing, so towing capacity is the right number, right? Wrong. And I'm gonna show you that actually towing capacity, for the most part, is pretty irrelevant. I know you're asking, well, where do I get these weight rating numbers? Well, in most cases, many of these weight rating numbers can be found on the door jam inside of your pickup. This is the weight rating numbers from our Dodge Ram. It shows the GVWR, gross vehicle weight rating of the truck, as well as the maximum axle weight for each axle. You'll notice that if you add those axle weights together, you'll get 7,800 pounds, which is much higher than the 6,900 gross vehicle weight rating for the truck. This doesn't matter. 
the gross vehicle weight rating is still 6,900 pounds, and that's the most you can put on that truck. As for the towing capacity and the gross combined vehicle weight rating, I got those by going to the Ram website and downloading their towing guide. Most manufacturers are going to have these towing guides, so you can go there and download them. You're probably going to need to know, well, you're not probably, you're going to need to know a little bit of information about your vehicle before you go to these towing guides. Things like what engine you have, what type, uh, what your what your axle ratio is. But once you get this towing guide you can look and find those numbers here's the numbers in the ram towing guide for our ram 1500 the numbers for your trailer will be found on a placard usually on the front driver's side of the rig that shows the weights all right now that we understand what all those weight numbers are i'm going to show you the one number that's going to be the most important number when you're towing with a half ton pickup truck the magic number is the gross vehicle weight rating of your tow vehicle because that's the number that you're going to exceed first. And if you don't believe me, here's some numbers from our pickup truck towing our 30 foot Imagine 2500 RL. This is a weight ticket from a cat scale when we went to Deadwood for a job last October. For this trip, we had a lot of video gear that we were taking with us and we ran into a little bit of trouble with our weights. So if we look at this, we'll see that we had 3,180 pounds on the steering axle, 4,000 pounds on the drive axle, and 5,900 pounds combined across the two trailer axles. So let's compare that to the weight ratings for the tow vehicle and the trailer. Let's look at the trailer first. The trailer is at 5,900 pounds. Our gross vehicle weight rating on the trailer is 7,495 pounds. That gives us 1,595 pounds of unused capacity. We're great there. Let's look at the towing capacity. Our towing capacity is 8,440 pounds and our trailer is only 5,900 pounds. That's an extra 2,540 pounds of towing capacity. We're really, really good there. We've got a lot of extra overhead. As for axle weights, the steer axle is rated at 3,700 pounds, so we're good there. The drive axle is rated at 4,100 pounds. We're close at 4,000, but we're still good on the drive axle. But what about the gross vehicle weight rating of the truck? If we add the truck axle weights together, we get 7,180 pounds. That's 280 pounds over the gross vehicle weight rating of the truck. So yeah, we have all of this extra overhead when it comes to uh, when it comes to capacity in the trailer, when it comes to our towing capacity. We have all of this amazing overhead when it comes to our combined vehicle weight rating. All of this amazing overhead, but that gross vehicle weight rating is the one that's exceeded. And with a half ton truck, that's always going to be the one that you exceed. Okay, so that's all the weight stuff. But here's the real reason why I think towing uh, a 30 foot trailer with a half ton truck is not a good idea. When we were coming back from Deadwood, we drove through Wyoming on a really windy day and the wind was pushing us around like crazy. Every time a large truck came by, it would push us around like crazy. What was supposed to be a six hour drive turned into a 10 hour drive day. And I can tell you, I felt like I was wrestling an alligator the whole time I was driving. My hands were sore for about four to five days afterwards. So, so towing at that level, towing at, at such a, so close to maximum capacity, it's just not going to be an enjoyable experience and it's not going to feel like a safe experience. So that's why I think you really need a three quarter ton truck. And right now, if you're looking for a truck to purchase as a tow vehicle, my advice, 
just go buy a three quarter ton truck. And I say this because the last two trucks that we bought, we went to buy a truck. I told the salesperson, uh, I don't need a three quarter ton truck. I just need a half ton truck. I'm not gonna pull a trailer. I'm not gonna pull anything heavy. And both times we wound up buying a trailer and I needed more truck. So now we're gonna have to upgrade our Dodge Ram to a three quarter ton truck. And I know we're gonna be a little bit upside down on, on the payments, what, what we owe on the truck. So yeah, just go, just buy a three quarter ton truck and you'll be so much happier. All right, so that's my opinion. Let the flaming begin in the comment section because I know it's coming. This is such a controversial subject. But if you did get something, anything out of this video, please feel free to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, all of that stuff. And uh, yeah, hope to see you on the next one. And if not on the next video, well, hope to see you out on the road somewhere.